All right, cool. Uh, welcome, everybody, to the first retro review of Season 3. If you missed the fun last season, uh, please go back and check out our playthroughs of Carmen Sandiego, Math Blaster, and Oregon Trail. If you are interested in watching us play through the game, you've come to the right place. If you'd like to hear us dissect the game and dissect how we would create it, uh, head on over to the audio version of the podcast. Uh, so with that, we're going to get started. So take it away, Dan. Okay. So today I'll be playing, and Matt Hazelton will be... Are you heckling? Is that the... or? Uh, I'm actually interested to watch you play this, because you were the one who, who sort of introduced me to the, the manhole. Uh, yes. As a, a game from your childhood that you used to play... Uh, way back when. So uh, I remember reading about this game, but I've actually uh, never fully played through it myself. Okay, yeah. No, it's a it's a game I have fond memories of as a youth. Uh, I think we were talking earlier, it came out in 88, so that would have put me in like fourth grade. Uh, and I remember playing it a lot. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I'm going to hit the enter key here, and mm -hmm. we're going to Loading, starting, different than loading. Game Talk V1.0. Yeah. Oh, there, there's a special treat when you start it up. Activision. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Yeah, nice little game. This is even the version I remember. Oh, this, this yeah. is? Yeah. Because there's a version that was black and white, I think. Mm -hmm. And then there was a remastered version, but I, I think that this is the, the, yeah, sweet, this is the sweet spot. I love this cinema, cinematic introduction. Mm -hmm. it's like... I think that that's the cool thing about the manhole, is that the whole thing is, is basically an aesthetic experience. It's not about a learning objective or uh, even a winning or losing. It's just simply a series of places that are fantastical that you explore. And that's it. And there's lots, I mean, it's just basically, it's a game composed entirely out of Easter eggs, more or less. All right, so we won't have to go through all the credits. Oh, we may actually be there. Yeah. Wow, well-timed manhole. So it's, there's almost no on-screen introduction or prompt. It's just, like, there's no game mechanic to discuss mm -hmm. as far as just you You see things and, <laughs> and, and you touch them. Yeah. Hmm. I like, you know, it's nice because it's like, even in the beginning, you're like, well, I did just make a giant beanstalk come out of a manhole, so you'd think I'd want to go do that. But if you're the kind of fourth grader who's like, wait, fire hydrant, I'll check it out, then there's like, there's things for you. <laughs> oh, it's a letter to Rabbit with no return address. Well, one of us has to read this aloud. Okay, yes, so... Uh, actually, go for it, Matt. You've got a great reading voice. Walrus 4. Oh, that's clever. I didn't get that until I read it aloud. There you go. Yeah, it's a play on words. Rabbit, fire hydrant. Dearest rabbit, oh, bother. Chill, children. <laughs> There's a hyphen there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you really got thrown by that hyphen. <laughs> Seem to be wandering everywhere again, and they get into everything. I barely have enough time for my naps. Sincerely, Walrus four, the fourth. It's kind of a terrible letter, isn't it? Yeah. Who? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, I wouldn't want to receive a letter like that. Yeah, just with a random complaint. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go in. Let's see if the rabbit's at home. I'm assuming. Now I'm looking at a painting. Oh, sombrero. Oh, cap. Yeah. This is where the learning happens. Fireman's hat, sombrero. Cap. This is just a series of hats. Fireman's cap. <laughs> All right, we're going to leave it. I wonder if Sombrero will actually stay. Nope. Okay, that would be nice. Uh, is there anything in the couch? Learning. Nope, couch has got nothing. What about the light? Oh, ho, ho. oh. All right. Oh, Whoa. come back to me. Let's see what we got. Just going to go through his personal effects. Oh, here's something that looks learnish. Ha. Oh, it's just the alphabet. What happens uh, if I hit the button? No. Nothing. It's I think it. Oh, I see. Oh. Uh, oh, it's lyrics. It's just <laughs> the book. Yeah, there we go. 
Oh. Well. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna happen. I'm inclined to take their advice. Ooh, music. Oh, he's not here. What is this? The dragon's basement? I think so. <laughs> All right. Okay, babe, I'm out of here. Dig me. VO. Yeah, it's got VO. So, um... How do they compress that? I think it's worth talking about one thing. It's like, for us, we're like, who's that? Uh, and that's because uh, the game is not really set up intended with any exploration in a particular sequence. Like, like you just saw, like, I'm just pretty much going wherever I yeah, want. Yeah, we haven't even gotten to the manhole yet. Yeah, I should probably get back to the manhole. I think I can yeah, do that. Get in there. Is that it? Going down. Okay. There we are. Wait, no, are we just... Wait, where were we? How are we... I did w- we go w- down and I went. So I went in the fire hydrant, right? And then I left the uh-huh. fire hydrant, and then I was... I went through the book to go to the dragon's tower, and then, yeah. So everything's threaded in, like, uh... Bienvenue. Je m'appelle Monsieur Tortoise. That, that's French, by the way. French turtle. Yeah. Welcome. My name is Mr. Oh, I remember hating this fish even back as a kid. <laughs> the VO. Yeah. Oh my god. You know, so, I probably said He said, Welcome, my name is Mr. Turtle like five million times as a fourth grader. I'm surprised my parents didn't murder me. Just ridiculing this yeah. game or Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's some real time jiggling of seahorses. Yep. All right. Now I'm trying to like I'm trying to dredge in my mind and be like, can I remember some of the longer sequence exploration rewards? Um, I think there's the I think the way to actually summon the dragon is fairly elaborate. Oh, what's that? Oh. All right. I gotta give that another shot. Did Get it work? There. Oh. All right. Maybe that's all we get. I think that's one of the like I was reading some some retro reviews of this uh, this particular game and uh, as in reviews from you know 1989 and mm-hmm. one of the things that mm. they knocked it for was that yes. it's you well make yourself comfortable while I take my nap. That must be Walrus the Fourth. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> kids bothering him. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, uh, we're the kids. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we were the kids the whole time. <laughs> Yeah. All right. What do you think, Mr. Walrus? Is that Walrus the first, you think? Well, you should read the plaque. Walrus of the year. Let's see if I can. It's like Whistler's Oh, wouldn't it be amazing if I click on this plaque and it's just the same, like, little black smudges but expanded? Nope, it's words. Oh, it's the third. Okay. Indubitably. Oh. Indubitably. Yeah, I remember hitting this button a lot, too. (laughs) Sure. Indubitably. Yeah, just keep that coming. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, let's see what's over here. Oh, this is might be nice. Or do we want to do the eagle or do we want to do the desk? <laughs> I mean, if there's an eagle, you have to go with the eagle. All right, that's fair. That's <laughs> fair. Those are critical choices. <laughs> oh, it's a parrot. Oh. It's been a, it was a parrot the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> this is, all right. Oh, see all the fish. I, I know it's I know it's not a it's not particularly impressive by today's graphical standards, but at the time, it was hard to believe that something so beautiful could appear on the on the computer screen. Well, and even by today's standards, I'm impressed with all the detail that they put into doing these kinds of animations and pop-ups, because this all had to be done by hand. Mm-hmm. This is like... All right, let's, let's put that away. <laughs> That's enough drawer. <laughs> hey, oh, they really like the clam reveal. All right, my notepad. <laughs> Wait, can you draw? <laughs> His only note is pencil. <laughs> it's like, it's the Memento guy's notepad. Yeah, <laughs> this is a notepad. He wakes up every morning. He forgets what a pencil is. <laughs> is that it? Uh, oh no, he's got more. He got that, a rock chip. Is that video? Is that movie reference as dated as this game? I don't know. Will oh. anyone get that? I hope so. Uh oh. Uh, you did it. All right, we're in the ink dimension. Whoa. Uh, and back in the room. I think that was supposed to take me out of space. I don't know if this board is working flawlessly. Did you click by accident? Like Maybe. It, because I think the, if you tap on the touchpad, then it's also a click. Oh, look at that. Okay. Let's go back to ink space. Let's go back to ink space. 
Yeah, get out of your fish. I'm uh, I'm super impressed with how much of this you remember, Dan. Well, I I think I did it a lot. Okay. Oh mm-hmm. no, I don't no. think I. Uh, Maybe you just animate. One more times. time. One more time. <laughs> yeah. Because I it was just so good with this like single tap. It might be like a delayed tap thing. All right, hands are off the computer. Okay, uh, that's what we got. Okay. All right. Sweet. What about these? Oh, oh, oh. There's a creepy guy out there. Yeah. All right. Uh, so was this the very first first-person game you played? Ooh, I don't know. Um, that's interesting to think about. Right. I don't know. I don't even know what the contemporary first-person games were at this time. I don't know. I, I think I played things... There were, like, weird adventure games on, like, the Amiga and stuff. I think that came out before this. Hmm. I think there was one called, like, Task Times and Tone Town. I don't know if that was before or after this. But I think that was first person. Tell me more about that. It was super 80s, actually. I think it would be actually kind of funny to look at now to see. Because it was supposed to be, like, super 80s outrun style. All right. Let's see. What happens if I... Am I going to, like, travel to the boat I'm on? No, oh. I'm going to destroy a boat. Oh, you monster. I am. I, oh, here we go. Wait, you're back here? Yeah, I'm back here. <clears throat> I'm going to go back up. Let's see if I can find that dragon. Yeah, man. Up we go. Okay, let's see. How do I click the moon? Yep. <laughs> hey, look, this star turned right. gold. Oh. Oh. I wonder if you're unlocking the dragon sequence right now. Mm, it could be. Well. It's got some music. Piano. I don't know. Someone's smashing their face on a piano. What is happening here? A bookshelf? You went through the wardrobe. Because you were backwards, now you came out. What? The books on the left are very good, but you don't really have time to read any of them right now. <laughs> you are a guest in someone yeah. else's home. Oh, hey, here's the rabbit watching TV and drinking a beer. <laughs> it's wine in the can. Could I interest you in a hot cup of tea? Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> That's how you sound. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, no, I drank the tea. It's filled with... Let's see if he has got more tea. Could I interest you in a hot <laughs> cup of tea? See, I was convinced. Yes, please. Unlimited tea. I could have sworn hook. there was a way to. No, never mind. I thought I could travel into the tea. <laughs> you know, as you want to do. I'm gonna open your windows, rabbit. He doesn't even have a door. So. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I've been here before. We did the alphabet book. Wait, so was the rabbit in the room the whole time? <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, that's okay. alarming. We're going to go back to Dragon Town. And I don't think we went down no, this. Oh, the mysterious dragon portal? Yeah, this looks troubling, doesn't it? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is the guy that says, my small boat. It's your small boat. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Please come and ride with me in my little boat. Mm, this was less offensive when I was in fourth grade. <laughs> <laughs> this was more charming when I was in fourth grade. 88. Yeah. Different times. Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh. They're going back. Do All right, it. let's do it. Oh, the currents have taken over. Man, this would have been so exciting in 1988. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Ugh. What happened to the water there? Oh. See? This is what I was talking about. You could be in the tea. And there's this frog. Well, you are in the tea. Yeah. 
some tea, no shade. All right, here we go. Uh, uh oh, I, I don't know what to do with this arrow going the other direction. What happens if I can I get off here? I bet you that's the way out. Oh, is this where I started? Yeah. Well, I don't want to go back where I came from. There was another juncture I could have taken. There was a moment when I could have said no. <laughs> and that moment is past you. Yeah. Here we go. Go over that way. Unless this is just like a loop that leads to T. I think I can, I, I can, I can obviously definitely go back to T-Town, but there is definitely a right or left juncture. Mm. Oh. oh, wait. Oh, oh, no, no, it's, it's, it's just through this way. It was a lie. That one's going to go this way. No. Are we stuck? Just going back to D. Yep. Okay. Sorry, guys. No, that's all right. Still no dragon. He was going to talk about some sounds. this. Yeah. Repeated sounds. It's as exciting as it was last time. <laughs> <laughs> Devastating. <laughs> At a blistering one frame per second. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up, Rabbit? Ah! Oh my, there's a tiny boat in my teacup. Yes, there is. Alright, so... <laughs> but he's not going to do anything about no, it. No, that's it. <laughs> Alright. very passive. Alright, wait, All right. oh, so if I don't go... Okay, here we go. No. No! <laughs> you no! madman. <laughs> no. no. I can't believe you've done this. Okay, all right. I'll just get it over with. Ugh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so brutal. Uh. It's funny to think of fourth grade. Oh, what? Wait. What? How is this happening? Oh, bother. Company again. Yeah. We all just got uh We got bamboozled. We got bamboozled we got by him. the manhole. <laughs> we got manholed. Is I've he, never seen this. Is this is he dead? Is that his headstone? I think oh. it's a door. Oh, okay. It is a tombstone shaped door. I can I can <laughs> poke him to <laughs> He does not like that. Yeah. Okay, so what do you think? Do it I? It looks like you want to visit my I don't think I do. I didn't really like this home we very much. Before. Right? Yeah. Let's try this exit. I mean, what if this door is like another one of these things where like you go through it and it's a different destination this time? This one? Follow yeah. me. We've never Follow gone this me. way. I can't believe, I don't know how we got here. They got us again. Yeah. Oh, hey, look, it's a nice man with an elephant in a boat. Should I go talk to him and see where the boat goes? I think that's like <laughs> where you're coming from. I know, yes. All right. Yeah. Oh. This is blowing my mind. There's so much here. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, here we go. All right, so we can hit. What happens if you try to go up? Ooh, Ooh he gets a little arm when you poke him. Blinks. That's like me in real life. <laughs> hmm? oh, there's no up. All right. All the way oh, down. here uh, we are. Boo. <laughs> All right. Smell you later. So oh. this is a maze with no exit. Oh. Oh, we can he go He just back likes up. to ride the elevator. Yeah, he does. It's just his thing. So there's no way to know when you're done with the manhole. No. You'd have to, like, go on to forums or get a game guide to, like, feel like you've exhausted everything. And this was created in an era where things like forums and game guides simply were not uh, a part of... This wasn't a thing. Yeah. Hello, my friend. Oh, I think at this I'm point so that was there is still a lot of uh, uh, BBSs and and the like. Bull oh wow, yeah. I guess I'm really old. <laughs> yeah, is, is that an acronym? Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> it is a bulletin board system. There's lots of places where nerds would. I remember those. Yeah, I didn't use them. Yeah, they were. So you had the internet myths. in your house in 1988. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I think so. Oh. Yeah, I get the old 28.8 modem. Is that right? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I'm trying to, it's hard to remember exactly when those things all clicked into place. But it wasn't like, uh, we weren't on the World Wide Web at that point. 
Mm-hmm. You were just right. like connecting onto. Okay. You connected directly to bulletin boards and other things. Uh, Wait, I'm so sure DARPA was really interested in getting the secrets of manhole out. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At the time. <laughs> Wait. Oh, wait. wait, 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 wait. That's where that? we just came from. I don't know. We're pivoting. Now we're going forward. Yeah, let's go back down this thing again. Yeah. <laughs> let's do that for a Oh, there's options, I think. Wait I could go down oh. this one. Go that way. That's discreet. And then we can go in here. Oh. oh. Chess board. It's kind of... What? What? Wow. That's not a chess piece. I love to sleep while standing on one leg. <laughs> it's just a, such a random collection of facts you learn in this game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Flamingos sleep on one leg. And the Chronicles of Narnia is... I like how you get, like, a Vietnam flashback when you click on these. <laughs> background, like... <laughs> I'm, I'm not getting that. That, <laughs> might, that might just be happening in your head. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I am. Oh wait, that's where I came from. I feel like they're gonna dump you out of the, the tower again. All right, I'm gonna go down all the way. And now, I think this is gonna be the nighttime scene. Yep, here we are. I feel like I entered this tower before and that is not what no. I got though, right? This game is confusing. That oh, was here's there before. New. Yeah. Madly creepy. Yep. Just make a sacrifice. Hey, what's this broken pillar all about? Uh, so I don't think I mentioned it in the introduction, but the people whoa. who made this uh, would later go on to make Mist. Uh, and watching you play through this, I'm definitely seeing like proto Mist in this. Uh, yeah. For sure, you know. Yeah, it's probably you know even things like you can see how they implemented like the the would you like tea right is like mm-hmm. this special. Intermediary, intermediary interface where it's not run by some type of text management engine. It's just a graphic that comes mm-hmm. in like everything had to be done manually. One piece at a time. All right. So what do you think? I think we went through that cave one before. Yeah. What about this yellow door? It's the best door. Okay. What? Oh. I don't know what to do. What? Oh, crap. I remember this song. You can just hang out here for a while and enjoy this music. It's pretty good. What do you think, Josh? Just stand up. Yeah. <laughs> this is some top-notch MIDI. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid. I remember my dad bought a uh, Roland MT32 sound system, which was the fancy pants. MIDI controller that you could hook into only certain games. We bought this game called Loom that was a, a game about writing music to cast spells that was beautiful. Oh, the old LucasArts adventure game. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and with, with the Roland MT32 sound experience, it was really cool. <laughs> All right. I think we should do our next retro review on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, oh. Well, whoa. What? What is that thing? That makes no sense. What? It's a Q-tip? Where is he going? <laughs> Should we follow that guy? I think no. so. <laughs> okay, it was this way. He'll swab you. And then he <laughs> went left, right? I think so. Left, correct, sir. His left. Oh, no. <laughs> what do you think? Don't get in that boat. <laughs> <laughs> we never got him to say, my small boat is your small boat. Well, he, yeah, that's true. Because he does say it. All right, I'm going to go on this thing, because I don't think we've done that, right? Oh, we're back here. We have done this. Okay, now there's water. Uh, ooh. They just... This seems important, right? Like, why make this scene? There must be a secret. Mm. Maybe we can wait and maybe a, a special star will twinkle or something. Maybe it's just mm-hmm. uh, about the aesthetic experience of looking at the horizon. 
Could be. It also could be that. Yeah. Well, let's just give it 20 minutes. Yeah, I was going to say, in either case, this is compelling video. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, yeah. Well, shall I continue to explore? I, would you say we've exhausted the, the premise of the manhole? <laughs> we we have, have exhausted the premise. I can tell you we have not exhausted the content. Mm. There are more things to be done and more... There's a dragon someplace. There is a dragon with sunglasses. <laughs> uh, and he flies on top of the tower, and he looks super badass when he does it. Mm. But then when you talk to him, he's got a, a dopey voice. Mm. So there's a... It's right. like a political message, though. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's that. We did that. Oh! Uh, what? Yeah! There he is. Where'd he go? He's in the tower. We're going in. You found him? Right. This is the whole point. Yep. This is why we did this. Oh no! It's a flamingo now. He's gone. Oh no! It's, <laughs> it's him! <laughs> it's the elephant. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Hey. My small boat is your small boat. Well, I thought that was great when I was a kid. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Yeah. All right. So I'm doing it. I'm going into the water. YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> Another acronym. Yeah. Just St stacking them. Yeah. yeah. That will not be the acronym of the week. <laughs> <laughs> that was the acronym of several years ago. Yes. Week. Faster, Dan. I really like the like ham fisted. Face smashing on the piano style. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. So it's just jamming that. Yeah, it's just it's very yeah. violent piano. All right. <laughs> oh my! Yes. There's a tiny boat in my teacup. Yes, we covered this. Where's the dragon? <laughs> oh God. Okay, I gotta get off. I gotta get out of here. Otherwise, we're just gonna go around. If I get to the game's credit. Uh, this looks dragony. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's totally where the dragon is. What? Obviously. It should I hit the doorbell or should I just open the door? Oh, you don't you don't don't <laughs> walk into the dragon. Come on, Dan. <laughs> oh, okay. The, the doorbell just There we go. See, he was cooler out in out in the open air, right? Is that a a vest? Yeah, he's like a disco dragon. It's embarrassing. Oh no. Okay, oh. babe, I'm out of here. Dig me. <laughs> Well, that was the person who was talking to us originally. Yep. Now All right. We have a TV to watch. Now, while well, you can watch television. Oh, with this penguin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now I think about it, maybe this game is responsible for my attention deficit disorder <laughs> issues. Because they're like, oh, the dragon disappeared. Anyway, penguin on television. <laughs> by the sounds way, good. By the way, Narnia. Yeah. Whoa. Mm. Yeah. Whoop. Well, you better hurry! Mr. Dragon is waiting for you! Is that true? Where? I don't think that's true. He left me. What? Are you trapped? Are you just gonna do it again? <laughs> There's no precedent for that <laughs> happening in this game. <laughs> you <laughs> you certainly haven't seen hurry. anything repetitive up to this point. Alright. Okay. I think I, you know, it's funny because we were uh, we've written this game off twice now, and each time it's been like, but wait, there's more. <laughs> so I, I'm I'm pretty pleased with that. I think we have now pretty much exhausted most of the things. I know there are more things, but mm -hmm. uh, that's I think we've gone to most of the places. We've gotten the the general flavor of the manhole. Yes, and yeah, if you're a good. fourth grader. And not a, like, relentless completionist uh, in their late 30s. You know, this game takes <laughs> a lot more time and pleasure to delve through. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Well, that was a fascinating experience. Yes. <laughs> Full of listless wandering. <laughs> yes, that is that is the game. It's the game of listless wandering. <laughs> Cool. Uh, I'm I'm actually really excited to talk about this. Like I think it does. Uh, it's it's very unconventional in its approach. 
yeah. uh, in, in a way that actually seems like it's come back around again with VR. Yeah, and I think there's definitely a lot of content here that has certainly rippled through modern game design. And, mm-hmm. you know, so with touch points like Myst or games similar to that, I got some, you know, Stanley Parable kind of vibes mm-hmm. too mm-hmm. as we were playing. Um, so, yeah, if you would like to hear us opine more at length about this game, uh, just switch on over to the audio segment. Um, but that wraps up the video for now. <laughs>